Heading out to Ikea to return those shot glasses. Don't think I'm gonna pick up a replacement just yet. Got plenty of time to get them before the uh, before Halloween. But I do like those other shot glasses that I saw at that dollar store. And I'm just gonna keep looking around and see if I can find something that'll fit what I've got. They used to be located in this shopping area. It was an Alexander's, for you old enough to remember Alexander's uh, store. But this one was famous because it had the largest mural on the side of its building. At the time, it was the largest mural. Yeah, I'm not wearing my seatbelt. In addition to that mall having uh, something of a famous history, it's also notable because Donald Trump at one time had wanted to uh, build a hotel there. And this intersection here, it's a big cloverleaf, and he was willing to uh, undertake the entire reconstruction of that cloverleaf at his own expense if he was allowed to uh, build uh, his hotel on that Alexander's uh, grounds. But the town didn't like the fact that it would have the name Trump on it at the time. Now, this is back in the uh, late 80s, 90s. And so they denied him the opportunity. And instead, tax dollars went to uh, rebuild that intersection. And it sucks. It's just as much of a hassle as it was before. Whatever else you could say about uh, Trump, I think you can build crap. I'll be using what's called ply cap, and basically it's an edging for plywood. It's got a lip here that wraps over the top of uh, plywood, and then this hangs down in front of it. Damn, I'm good. <sighs> Normally, I would have attached the pieces to the uh, shelving first before painting them. But it's cold, rainy, and dark outside. So I'm gonna paint them up. Hopefully the storm passes tomorrow and I'll uh, attach them then. So we're almost uh, coming to the end of this project. And I think what I need to do when I finish this project up is not take a break, but I need to clean shit up. I need to clean up my work table down here in the basement need to clean up around me because it's starting to pile up with some crap again but it needs to be cleaned out and then that garage <laughs> that thing's a disaster but i got cutoffs all over the place from all the wood i've been cutting there's just shit all over the place <laughs> it needs to be cleaned and that'll be so much easier to work on these halloween props it's right now tripping over shit stumbling on stuff knocking crap over it's just a mess i can't work like that i often do I can't work like that. Right now though, I'm gonna get into uh, painting these pieces up. And as I said, tomorrow we'll uh, finish it up. You know, let these dry, obviously hit them with another coat of paint. I thought that was primer on there, the white. No, it's not primer. <laughs> it's an actual finish coat. Paint's still wet on the pieces, so I'm just gonna let them dry overnight. And tomorrow, tackle it again, give them a good second coat. And I'll also do the shelves and the rack itself at the same time. 
I'm also gonna go out and check and see if I can find a couple of crucifix. Sandrick Cemetery came up with a great idea of decorating the, the rack, the table itself, with a couple of uh, crucifixes on the legs. I'm also thinking maybe of just doing a, one, a big one in the center, if I can find one like that. But if not, if I can find a couple of small ones, I think it's a good idea just to decorate the bottom part of it. It's a little bland, a little dull. So maybe putting a couple of crucifixes down there would dress it up, make it pop a little bit more. I think it's a good idea. And I started looking uh, for the images for uh, the second stained glass window. Not quite as many available, certainly not in the black and white form that I was able to do with the last one, but there are actually a lot of demon images in uh, church stained glass windows. Most of them tend to revolve around the dance macabre, the dance of death. So there's a lot of skeletons uh, dragging people to the underworld. So I might go with that kind of uh, theme for the second window. So if you like what you see, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Your comments have really been a big inspiration for me, gave me a lot of great ideas on things that I should be doing. So please give me that feedback. I love hearing it, love reading it, particularly when I f up and you guys, you know, point it out saying, no, you guys, you can do better. So really keeps my feet to the fire and I appreciate it. Okay, thanks for watching. Get out of my fucking hand. It's like, get this fucking wire on the table. Why?